Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Another beautiful morning God's given us. And uh, we have a lot to be thankful for today and to rejoice in the Lord and to share with others about what God is doing for us and will do for them. Today I want us to look at Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 10. And don't you listen to what these words are saying. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So the, your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean upon what we think we know. And if we will acknowledge him in everything in our life, the Bible says he will direct us. In order for God to direct one's life and guide them in the way that he would like for them to go, that person must already be doing what they know and what the Word of God says is right. Not going out there living what we think is right, not going out doing what we think we can do, but it says to activate the promises of God, we must be already forgiven and living the life that God wants us to live. And we are directed to live by His words. Did you see in here it says if we acknowledge Him, He'll direct us. Do not be wise, fear the Lord, depart from evil. And I like it, it says it will be health unto your flesh and strength to your bones. You know, when you live for God and you're trusting in God completely to guide you, to direct you, to bless you, to take care of you, to feed you, to clothe you, you know what, you can lay down and, at night without fear. You can go through the day and know that there's things going to come against us. There's things going to go wrong. Life is life and the enemy does come against those that are children of God. But when we have our trust 100% planted in God, then we will, can live more of a stress-free life. I'm not going to say 100% because we, we do a lot of it to ourselves. But we can live the life that knows and believes that God will take care of us. It says, if we honor the Lord with our possessions and with the first fruits of our anchor, in other words, if we... Give back to him the 10% that he's asking us to give. Because, folks, it's already his. It's not like we're giving him something that is ours. It belongs to him anyway. But if we honor him, he says, Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of your increase. Then he says, I'll bless you. Listen, your barns will be filled with plenty. Your vats will overflow with new wine. It's amazing how people expect God to bless them. And they do nothing for God. They don't live the life for God. Or they don't. They halfway live a life for God. They claim this. They claim that. But they expect God to pour out his blessings upon them. Regardless of the life they live. It doesn't work that way. I've said it many times. Salvation is free. But the promises of God come with stipulations. <laughs> to think about it. The Bible says... If you love me, you'll keep my word and you'll obey my commandments. And if you obey my commandments, I'll live inside of you. The Bible says this, you know what it says, uh, all the things that it says in there that we should do and shouldn't do. Those things bring or deny the promises of God to our lives. And so today we need to think about that. We need, are we honoring the Lord with our life? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he says, if you do that, I'll direct your path. Do not be wise. Fear the Lord. Depart from evil. If you do that, I'll bless you. Honor the Lord. He said, if you do that with the first fruits, the barns will be filled. God says, if you'll do your part, I'll do my part. Lord, I thank you today for the promises that are found in your word. The instructions of how we can live a better life. Lord, if we'll just honor you, just do our part. You have promised that you'll do yours. And Lord, I know it to be true. I've seen it in my own life. And Lord, I just thank you for that today. God, may we today be found working for you and doing that that you've asked us to do with our lives 
if we will just honor you. Lord, you said you'll bless us. Pray for those that are hurting today. I pray for those that are sick, the families involved in the shooting. God, I pray today that we, your children, will honor you with the life that we live today. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.